Have you seen this new AI powered test development assistant? Want to know what your automation scorecard assessment score is? And what are some new security AI tool features that are a must have? Find out in this episode of the Automation and DevSecOps News Show for the week of June 25th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. Are you looking to take your automation projects to the next level? Look no further than Apply Tools and the Visual AI Validation Testing. Trust me, it is a game changer. I've used it myself in the real world. Plus, you could try it for yourself by creating a free account now using the special link down below and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging Visual AI. So first up, we have Studio Assistant, Catalan's new AI-powered test development assistant, a revolutionary AI-powered coding companion designed to enhance your studio programming workflow and empower you to develop test automation code like never before. This is actually powered by GPT and Catalan Studio, and Studio Assistant provides context-based code suggestions and detailed descriptions of existing code, making test development faster, more efficient, and more collaborative. And this article goes into more detail on how Studio Assistant aims to make Catalan Studio more accessible by addressing the steep learning curve between the easy to learn record and playback capabilities and the early steps into customization of testing using code. It actually generates code based on descriptions and provides descriptions of existing code, enabling quality engineers to quickly generate a new studio code to meet their specific needs and create descriptions of unfamiliar code. And what I think is really its special sauce is it also features an explain code function that allows experienced Catalan Studio developers to include inline comments, providing clear direction for more junior developers of what the code section does and why. And Studio Assistant is part of Catalan Studio 8.67 beta release and is available now. And to find out more about this feature and a bunch of new features that Catalan has just released, you definitely want to check out my latest interview that I had with Mush Honda on AI powered tools and software testing, where he takes a deep dive into a bunch of these new features of Catalan Studio and how it's going to help you with your automation efforts. And definitely check out the new features of Catalan Studio, which I'll have a link for down below in the first comment. And in other developments, Nightwatch JS version three has just been released. So Browser Stack posted all about it on the new features of Nightwatch. And this release is a major upgrade built around three key pillars, developer experience, mobile first, and one test automation framework. And the new version promises a redesigned experience for writing and debugging tests, offering speed, stability, and consistent non-flaky results. So Nightwatch version three focuses on mobile first testing, allowing users to test web or native iOS and Android mobile applications on simulations, real mobile devices, or a cloud grid like browser stack. It also serves as a single framework for running all types of tests from unit, component, end to end API, visual and accessibility testing. New key features of Nightwatch version three include element APIs, which simplify test authoring and the introduction of some new selectors. And these can be chained together to find more complex elements. Performance improvements are also highlighted in this new version with implementation of worker threads for parallel runs leading to improvements for up to, they say, 25% between Nightwatch 2 and Nightwatch 3. And the new Nightwatch Inspector, a point and click tool, helps users easily find selectors improve test authoring productivity. And also check out my interview last week with David Burns all about Nightwatch JS, what it is, what it means to you, and all these new features. Do you know what your automation testing scorecard assessment score is? So in this new resource I created, it's gonna walk you through six key areas you need to focus on for a successful automation test suite implementation and also ways to improve your effort. It gives a score of where you are now and also gives you some ideas on where you can improve and it has a checklist of different things you could do to improve your score as well. I also noticed last week that Playwright 1.35 is now out. What does it include? Let's find out. All right, in this latest release of Microsoft's Playwright version 1.35, several key features have been introduced that are set to revolutionize web testing. The first one is the VS Code Playwright extension is now includes a UI mode accessible via a new trace view button. And this feature allows for the marking of network requests handled with the page.route and browser context.route handlers, as well as those issued via API testing. A new option mask color has been added for methods page screenshot. And this release also introduced a new uninstall CLI command to uninstall browser binaries. 
So if you use Playwright and you haven't checked out the latest version, definitely give it a try and let me know your thoughts and check it out in the first comment down below. And through gathering news items for my new show, I came across a new technology I never heard before called EBF Chaos. I thought it's really interesting and I think it's really timely, especially as more and more folks move cloud native. So eBPF, a new cloud native technology is making waves in the realms of observability and security workflows. And this technology allows developers to access observability data in microservice container environments that are otherwise challenging to fetch. It also offers auto instrumentation for performance monitoring, profiling, and tracing. The article also goes over how the use of e BPF is not without its challenges. Verification of tools and platforms is required, and there's a need to break production with chaos engineering to verify EPBF, enable workflows. Security observability with EPF is a cat and mouse game with malicious actors learning to circumvent security policies, and chaos engineering can benefit from using EPF probes to manipulate behaviors. In this article shares highlights into learning EPPF. I found a news article that's going to help anyone that needs to do performance testing against Oracle. It was posted on LinkedIn how OpKey unveils enhanced features for Oracle EPS load and performance testing. And these enhancements are designed to ensure the seamless performance of enterprise applications during peak usage periods. So this new feature allows developers and business teams to simulate millions of virtual users, providing real-time insights into application performance and validation capacity plans and service level agreements in a live environment. And this article goes over three of the key features of OpKey's EBS load testing solution. First one is zero code load testing. It integrates within DevOps, so the solution can automate load testing within DevOps processes, and it offers scalable, integrated, functional, and performance tests, variable load injections, and actual insights. And the third one is support for various performance testing types. So do anything with load testing, especially against Oracle enterprise applications, I think this is definitely something you should check out. So if you do anything with security testing, you probably have used Burp Suite before, but did you know that Burp Suite also just released a new extension called Burp GPT that leverages AI to detect security vulnerabilities that I think you're definitely gonna dig. And so it does leverage AI to detect security vulnerabilities that traditional scanners might miss. So this works by sending web traffic to an open AI model specified by the user and Burp GPT enables sophisticated analysis within the passive scanner, offering customizable prompts for tailored web traffic analysis. And this extension generates an automated security report that summarizes potential security issues based on the user's prompts and real-time data from Burp issued requests. So by leveraging AI, the natural language processing Burp GPT streamlines the security assessment process, providing security professionals with a high-level overview of the scan application or endpoint. So this extension's effectiveness heavily relies on the quality and precision of the prompts created by the user for the selected GPT model. So use at your own risk, but definitely a cool new initiative by Burp Suite that you definitely should give a try and let me know your thoughts on it for sure. And you can find that in the first comment down below. And another innovative solution I came across is No Name Security, which has an API security solution you definitely should know a little bit more about as well. This innovative solution ensures no API goes untested and addresses the critical need for robust API security in today's digital landscape. So Active Testing version two builds on the successor of its predecessor, enabling industry leaders to shift left and prevent vulnerabilities from reaching production. It also supports faster innovative and compliance with involving regulatory requirements. And currently most APIs are not security tested before deployment. I hear this all the time. So it leaves them vulnerable despite handling sensitive data. No Name Security's active testing addresses this issue by integrating API security into the application's development process. Do anything with API testing, I highly recommend you do security on them. And here's one tool that can help you do that. So definitely check that out as well. And for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head over to the links in the first comment down below. And while there, make sure to check out our awesome sponsor, Apply Tools, free account offer. And this is how to take your animation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end to end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.